Hey guys, welcome to another Premiere Pro Tips video tutorial. I'm Alan, and um, I've got a viewer requested video today. Um, it was requested by It's Big Pappy, Poppy, however you want to say it. Uh, and he basically wanted to know um, how to apply transitions to um, like pictures, just still pictures. Because um, a lot of times, like let's say you... Um, you're making a video of a birthday party or something like that a lot of times you'll have a combination of of both video and um... and also pictures and um... and just like any slideshow um, applying transitions to them uh... to pictures is really important so i just have a picture right here it's just some snowboarder because i'm pretty excited for uh... for the snowboarding season to start so um so all I did was drag and drop it in the timeline. Um one thing that's important to remember to do if needed is to resize it. So I'm just going to click on uniform scale and I'm going to adjust the uh the width and the height. Um I'm just doing this sort of without explaining it. So if you don't know how to uh how to resize a picture or a video, um, just go check out one of my videos. I did a tutorial on it already. It's called How to Resize a Video in Adobe Premiere Pro. So there we have it. Um, now it's uh, it's the right size. And um, let me delete that. So um, I've just got this plain picture, as you can tell. Um, and you can apply video transitions to it. Um, even though it's a picture, you can it's still under video transitions, and um, you can use whatever video transition you want. Um, probably most commonly, you'll be under the dissolve category, and you'll be using transitions such as dip to black. Um, so if I just add that to the beginning and the end, and press play, it does does that little smooth transition. Um, and just for um, demonstration purposes, I'm going to use um, sort of a more more distinct um, transition. So I'm going to go to slide. I'm going to use push. Um, what this does is it just slides it over like that and then slides it off. Um, and like I said, you can use any transition you want um, under each of these um, subgroups there are a bunch of transitions that you can apply so a lot of it is just experimenting so um and you can also use this um effect in unison with uh with some text so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna make this one called snowboarding i'm gonna make a title where you just type snowboarding now when you're adding text over top of either a video or a picture it's important to have um, contrast so obviously right here if I were to use white it wouldn't um, be very effective because it'd be tough to see it's important to have contrast um, so instead I'm just gonna change it to a simple black if you guys aren't following um, about how to make a title I've also done a tutorial for that as well I think it's just called like how like either how to make a title or like text or something like that uh, just check it out. So I'm just going to center it and then uh, drag and drop it onto video 2. And I'm placing it on video 2 because I want it to be over top of this. Now, if I were to just to play it right here, um, as you can see, the, uh, the text here, I'll do it in slow motion. As you can see, the text is uh, it's not moving along with the video. So we can actually make it move um, together with the video by applying the same effect. So I'm just going to go back to slide and apply uh, push to the text. Now it's really important if you want it to move in unison, it's really important that these line up, um, that the effects line up. So the effect starts right here and it ends right here. And if, if these weren't, like if I had something like this, it wouldn't um, look right because they're moving at different speeds. So you want to make sure that if I wanted it out here that I change both of them 
to go to the same distance. That way they move together. So, uh, so yeah, let's see how this looks. See, so you can do something like that. It's all, it's all preference, a lot of this. So, um, yeah, if you guys found this helpful, please like, favorite, and subscribe. Um, what else? Yeah, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comments or private message me. And, uh, keep the viewer requested, um, videos coming. Uh, yeah, like I said in my other video, if you if you have this question about how to do something, chances are there's someone else out there with the exact same question. So, uh, so I really appreciate all of the uh, all of the help and support that you guys have given me and this channel. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Alan from Premier Pro Tips. Have a nice day.